We are live. You're out there, guys. Right, the bearded vapor here, back with another review for you guys today. I do apologize uh, about the light at the moment. You know what I mean? It's one of those ones. I'm doing this on a spare of a moment thing. Right, I do apologize about the lack of context at the moment. Um, it's getting hard for me. Um, I haven't got a desk at the moment, so that's quite hard for me to um, produce. And literally, I'm in my parents' spare room because I haven't got a spare room. So at the moment, obviously, the context has been going down. But I am bringing you today, if you bear with me two seconds, I'm bringing you the new Espion Silk. Look at that. Okie dokie. This is what I'm bringing you today. So it's a really, really nice looking mod. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do what we do normally. Uh, this is a bit of a review. Right, knock that camera off. I've got two cameras running. I'm trying something a little bit new for me. Um, obviously, at the end of the day, I'm on my own today. Uh, I've got no one with me. Um, I've also, for the next review, I have just bought a MyPod. Uh, really, really cool. I've only literally got it this afternoon, so I'm just having a play with it. I'll do a review on it on uh, the next week or so. Right, <clears throat> so let's get down to this bad boy. So, I've been using it now for a couple weeks. Um, I've been sort of putting this off a little bit, just because I've been a little bit unsure on it. Um, it comes in the red, an orange and black, and a white and black. So, it's got plenty of colours there and choice. Um, it's an 80 watt mod with a, a 2,800 mAh battery. Uh, so it's got quite a big battery for what it is. It's an internal built battery. There you go. Let's go back to the other camera so then we can get a better look. So it's quite a nice size battery for what it is, being that uh, 2,800 mAh. Um, it's, yeah, I quite like the look of it. It's not designed so it bounces. Or anything like that it's designed for people with like allergies um on some people have uh, allergies to like copper and zinc um and stuff like that and of course sometimes in vapes you do find that and some people have uh, either allergies to having still um so obviously this is the way that they're getting around it it is plastic um so it's quite hard to flip so it's got plastic down here this is all plastic. You've got a reset button as well, just in case you have any problems. And this is just rubber, just a rubber finish, okay? Just to give it a bit more grip, obviously, if you're squeezing plastic all the time. You've got the new notch coil tank here. We'll get down to that in a minute. Okay, looks quite tasty at the moment. I am running a little bit of um, what I've got left, should I say, of the Juice Empower Storm Juice. Really, really good. I would suggest to go see them. Vape's really nice. Uh, I am sorry about this lighting. It's too light in here. Wow, never thought I'd see that. Um, all in all, I'm enjoying this so far. We have got some uh, other little bits and bobs to go through. So, sorry, I'll, I'll just turn the camera on and off. It's easier. So, what we've got here is we've got it. It's no, uh, sorry, 40. Okay, it's 40 by 29.5. And then to the top, sorry, yeah. 40, 29, and then 120. Okay, it's got a 0 0.6 inch display, 80 watts, variable voltage. Same as normal, three clicks. And then you can go through your bypass, titanium, nickel, stainless, stuck, TM1, M2, M3. Back to wattage. If you hold the up and uh, down, sorry, the down and fire button together, Oh, sorry. No, up and fire. My bad. You've just got the standard set in there. We see this on like the new Pico 21700, where you can go in and you've got the path reader, and then you've got the logo. Uh, you've also got the power, the preheat setting, time. And the voltage of the batteries and the coil you're running, 
and then the voltage of your battery. And then you go back, and then you go back to the standard setting. Really, really cool little device. It's quite easy. That's literally all the features on there. So it's a really, really easy device to get along with, to use, and just enjoy, really. If you have that problem where you are allergic to anything, it's a way to sort it out. I thought this is a little bit different than normal with uh, doing the review live instead of um, just doing a review. It takes me ages to obviously do a video. Uh, it doesn't happen overnight, but I enjoy it for you guys, and I want to give back. So, right, we said 80 watts. It's a 2 mil capacity tank, like normal in the UK. Weighs in at 141 grams. So it's quite light. It is really, really light. You've got a 1.5 ohms coil for temperature mode and a 3.5 ohm coil for variable power. Okay, so that's what I'm just reading here off the page. Right, they are really quite cool. At the moment, it's it's stating it's 0 0.5, basically, 0 0.14. So that's what I'm guessing is the standard coil. I haven't actually changed this. Basically, with these new coils, which I will show you now. I don't know if anyone's seen this at all or not. If you're on my Instagram, you would have seen it. Let me put it back onto the base here. Right, let's go to the other camera. It's something totally different, and I think you guys should enjoy it. Righty ho. So basically, here is the coil. It just slots in, slots out. Really easy. You change the cotton. That's all you need to do. Is every sort of three times every change it when it burns out, then go for it again. Do it three times, then change the coil over. That's what they're recommending by um, Joytech. Okie dokie. It's a really nice one. It's really quite easy to do. They are very, very delicate though. Um, so I would be very careful with it. Um, you don't want to be busting up the coil at all or anything like that. So there's the pot chamber. Okay, you've got a sort of five or six slots there for the juice just to guide round it and it always hits it. Personally, I've been running mine at 26 watts. I personally think that's enough. Any higher, you just get dry hits. Um, so for these cloud chasers, um, people that want to produce plumes of smoke, this isn't the kit for you, I'm afraid. This is designed mainly for the starter to intermediate vapor. Um, top fill, easy fill system. So just like normal slide, we're seeing that on a lot of tanks now. It is a really nice tank. It is a really nice looking kit. So what we're going to do, the usual, the start rate in time. Right, so let's have a puff and we go for the flavour and the vapour. For running at 26 watts, flavour production, I'm going to give it a 6 to a 7. Uh, uh, vapour, sorry. Flavour, I'm probably actually going to give it on a high 8. OK, it's got that RDA feel or that RTA feel, but it's not. It's that it's really weird, but really nice at the same time. You get five in the box uh, with it. Um, I haven't got the box, I'm afraid, at the moment. Literally, spare of the moment. The football's on, so I can guess in a minute I'm going to be finishing up, going back upstairs, and hopefully England are going to take it home. Everything else with it, easy functionality. I'm probably going to give this... For functional reality, a five. It is quite easy. It's very similar. Everyone's seen it. Um, they're pretty much bog standard and easy to use. So pretty much anyone can use it. Looks. I don't know what everyone else's opinion are. I don't mind it. It's grown on me. I'm going to give it a five again. Um, it's hard to give it a five. I'd say a four or five. Um, I do like, though, actually, I'm going to give it a six. Because it's plastic. It does bounce, trust me. I've dropped it on numerous occasions, and it's just bounced. Um, and because it's that, it's a little bit niche market for people that do have the uh, problems with 
obviously are being allergic to some metals and stuff like that. They're thinking of the broad spectrum here of vaping and they're trying to make it better for and accessible for a lot more people. So I will give Joytech their due on that one. Um, from If you to drop it from a height, I doubt it. But from dropping it from the side or falling out of the pocket, it did just bounce. Uh, no, it's not designed to. This is designed for people like that. But at the same time, is it does have that added bit of benefit for it. Um, right, that's me done for tonight. Um, just a quick one. As I said, it was just a review. Um, let me know what you want to see on the my pod. Okay, I'll bring it and probably next Tuesday I'll do the video. We are moving the videos though to five o'clock, uh, 5 p.m. UK standard time. Uh, only surely it's so hard for me to produce it for 10 o'clock like I was. I was getting up in the morning trying to blitz these videos out and my editing was so suffering. Last week, unfortunately, my laptop just was playing silly buggers. It wouldn't allow me to edit. So that's why there was no video last week. I've got a lot on at the moment. I'm trying to move house. Uh, so if there is a miss, a week miss, follow me on Instagram. I will let you know. It's the bearded underscore, or sorry, the underscore bearded vapor. Go and follow me. I put all day to day pretty much. I post, if not every other day, most probably every day. At the moment, it has been. Uh, come over and join in. Let's have some fun. And I will see you next time. Right.